What's up my ghosts and ghouls? Today, we have a special video for you today. Meet the man who is sexually attracted to balloons. This is weird. I'm not exactly sure really what to expect, but I mean, <sighs> let's go ahead and let's give it a My name is Julius, I'm 62 years old, and I'm addicted to balloons. Okay, but see, there's nothing wrong with being addicted to balloons. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. That's... Sure, you've got a lot of them. Yes, I mean, obviously, you've got 6,000 rainbows in there, but, I mean, it's not... You know what I mean? Like, it's not a bad addiction. I've seen a lot of bad addictions, and this doesn't seem to be one of those types of bad addictions. This... Seems like he's just having fun with it so far. They're beautiful. They're soft, smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive. Okay. So he knows that they're not alive, which means he just likes balloons. There's not um, a sexual attraction at all whatsoever. It's just an addiction. I don't know who I'm trying to convince. <laughs> but sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. My first reaction was, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. This man's been sitting out here loving balloons for 50 years. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, all right. Well, let's, let's go ahead and see. It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Okay. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's... still standing how is it not floated away already by now 50,000 balloons wow that's a lot that's that's a lot surrounded by them I love all balloons but I do have my favorites I like the crystal clear the, the transparent you know, it's like a soap bubble you know you can see through it I, I've got long ones the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical ones. Why? I, I don't know. I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Julia. No, my man. No. You just... You just compared... Somebody help me, please. Somebody, somebody help me. This man really out here comparing balloons to blondes and brunettes. Does anybody else see the problem with that? I'm seeing a problem with that. This is so addicted, he even has an entire room dedicated to balloons. This is my balloon sanctuary. I have uh, magenta, purple, yellow, blue, red, and clear. And uh, wherever I, I have a white one, I don't have many white ones, but I try to put the white ones in there, like there's a white one over there. And then I got some orange and yellow and green. He's like at this point with the interviewers, guys, it's balloons. There's so many colors. There's only so many things. I don't know what to tell you. They're balloons. That's funny. That's really funny because He's sitting here. Oh, what is this world coming to? I try to alternate it to keep all the colors, you know, uh, of the rainbow in there. One of my favorite balloons is the weather balloon. It's very delicate uh, and. This man's so addicted, he's got a weather balloon in his house. And it's not like it's just sitting on the ground, it's floating. Don't you be looking at me like that soft and, and smooth. 
It's probably one of the softest balloons I've got. For me, it's the bigger the better. Of course, I can't get, you know, an eight foot balloon in this room, so I, I settle for the five foot, uh, you know, weather balloon. I guess you can say it's more to love. No, no, it's not. It is not more to love. It is not more to love at all. You need to back up with that. Oh no. Oh no. I, I feel for him. Cause there's a reason people get addicted to things. And there's a reason that this all happens like it does. So I'm just wondering what the spur was to get him to be like this. Hopefully it'll tell us. I sleep in my balloon room every night. When I wake up in the morning, it's like being in balloon heaven. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. picture in my head. I don't, I don't even want that picture in my head. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused. This is a balloon. Is anybody not seeing the problem with this? Like, okay then. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss a woman that you love? Yes, but a woman is alive. A balloon is a balloon. It doesn't... Trying to be non-biased here. Trying to be non-biased. Almost set up. Okay. This man really said he was gonna deflate a balloon from 12 inches to 11 inches so it could take abuse. Has anybody looked up to see if this dude's on a, on a database somewhere? No. All right. Is a nickname for people with there's lots of people fetish. out there that feel the same way as I do about balloons. But there's two groups uh, of the lunar group. You got the poppers that get aroused by popping balloons. And this dude was just saying that he liked to inflate balloons to 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 give them abuse, but my man over here is sitting there popping them. He's sitting over there just smashing these things all together. You got your non-poppers. I'm a non-popper. That was... It's a very sexual way to rub the knot on a balloon. This is... I'm gonna need a shower after this. Julius's addiction to balloons started when he was hospitalized at just four years old. Oh, My mother come to visit one time and she gave me a, a real nice blue balloon. But that night, the nurse grabbed it and I heard the balloon pop. So after she left, I just cried myself to sleep. Since then, the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius and he even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. I'll go to car dealerships and uh, do what I call a balloon rescue. That just kind of puts it into perspective, you know. One little thing, one small action can traumatize somebody for the rest of their life. One small thing can put somebody at risk for, for mental scarring for the rest of their life. Alright guys, well that is it for today's video. 
give me a shout comment what you want to see next as most of you know this is my first video and this will be my first of many videos going up on YouTube I'm gonna try this I'm gonna I, I wanna get something that people are gonna enjoy watching so well I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one stay spooky my friends have a good